fantastic to have a poet laureate in Hong Kong. I'm not sure we've ever had this before, and for him to be able to give us a, a major lecture, to share with us why he writes poetry, what kind of poetry he writes, and to have uh, an opportunity to actually question him and hear other people uh, in Hong Kong is just phenomenal. But it is very honouring to be part of these celebrations, which I know have been spread out and managed to address all sorts of aspects of the university's life, not just its literary cultural life, but all sorts of aspects of its life. What's impressed me about the range of things that I've been invited to do, and indeed about the university's whole ethos, is that it feels very well connected to its, its wider academic environment. So to have sessions with university students as well as school children, some of them quite young, seems to me a completely sensible and enriching for me as, I hope, of course, for them, thing to do, certainly enriching for me, because it allows me to speak to the tree and speak to the roots at the same time. And that's been a very special feature of my time here. This is the first time I've heard about Lunch of the Period. I actually only heard about it um, about a week or two ago um, when HKU let my school know. It was the first time. It was very exciting. I think is an incredible opportunity for them to have the more I think of these activities that come to Hong Kong especially in a place where literature is not taught so much at schools and you're not exposed to it at an early age um, I think as more students get an opportunity to experience it their minds will be more open and become freer and will have better thinking more freer thinking um, more well-rounded and great minds